When creating a new View 3 project using V, you may have noticed that the app now comes generated with an attribute on our script tag called Setup. So what does this do? When this attribute is added to the script tag, we no longer have to define the setup function within our script tag. So the code inside of the script tag is now going to be compiled as the content of the component setup function. So let's take a look at how to get started using this new attribute and also some of the things that you need to know. To start using what they call the syntactic sugar for the composition API, we just need to define a setup attribute on our script tag. When using this, any top-level bindings including variables, functions, or imports are exposed to the template. So before when we use the setup function, we would have to define our variables or functions, then return them inside of our setup function to actually use them within our template. Now all we have to do is just define our variables or our functions inside of our script tag, and then we'll have direct access to them within our template. Importing components has also gotten simpler. No longer do you need to define a component option, you now have the ability to use the value defined on the imported value as your tag inside of the template. For example, if we import a component into this file called card, we can then just use the tag of card which we define on our import within this file's template. So really quick before we continue on with the video, if you are enjoying it, be sure to scroll down and drop a like on it as this really does help out the channel. Props and emits also work differently. When using the setup function, you define a param called props, which would allow you to gain access to that component's props. To gain access to other things such as emits, slots, and attributes, we would pass a context param. And oftentimes you destructure that to gain access to what you need. Now we have what are called compiler macros called define props and define emits, which we actually don't need to import when we want to use them. Define props works identically to the props option and define emits also works identically to the emit option. For slots and attributes, it's rare that you'll need to access these within the script tag since we already have access to them within the template via the dollar sign slots and the dollar sign adders. But if you do need to access them within the script tag, then we have these helper functions called use slots and use adders, which unlike our compiler macros of define props and define emits, you will need to import these if you want to use them. Declaring our component to be asynchronous has also gotten much simpler. We now have the ability to define a top level await. When we do this, then the code is going to be compiled the same way as if we were to define a asynchronous setup function. We define our component to be asynchronous so that we can use the suspense component in combination to display top level loading and air states to our application while we wait on our async dependencies to resolve. It is worth mentioning that we can actually use the script setup and a normal script using the setup function inside of the same component. I personally haven't come across a time where I've had to use both of these inside of a single component, but there are a few scenarios such as declaring options that cannot be expressed inside of the script setup, declaring name exports, or creating objects that should only execute once, since the normal script with the setup function only executes once when the component is first imported, while code inside of the script setup will execute every time an instance of the component is created. Alright, that's going to wrap it up for this introduction into the script setup. I definitely recommend checking out the documentation to learn more about this feature. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.